All right, hopefully you took the time to actually try to figure out this problem, but let's, in case you had some challenges or in case you have some questions, let's uh, show you quickly how I would solve this problem. First of all, I think we need to revert. Uh, I had done an alternate approach here where we looked at are you a boy or a girl, uh, and we were looking at, at, we were no longer storing the gender. And I think just for good measure, I'm going to put the gender back in here. So I'm going to set the gender to whatever answer they gave me here so that I can store boy or girl. And now the issue is that when Jack is tumbling or is going up the hill and I switch to the costume, I need to know whether I should switch to the boy version of the costume or the girl version of the costume. So I'm going to drag this out and we're going to ask the, the really basic question, is the gender that they gave me, right? So we need to have an equals block. Is the gender that they gave me equal to boy? If it is, then what I want to do is to switch to costume boy to be. If it's not, let me just duplicate that block, then I want to switch to girl to be, right? And so right here, I want that block. And I'm actually going to do this th two other times, and so I'm just going to duplicate that right now. Right? So here's this first one. If it was a boy, switch to the boy costume. And then here, we're using boy 2a or girl 2a. So let's just pull that out and change this to boy 2a or girl 2a. Uh, get this all lined up again. And it's getting kind of long here, but that's OK. It, it, it shows us what we want. And then down here, I need to switch back to boy 2b or girl 2b. And that's actually what I already have. So there we go. Right? By just adding in this, this conditional three times, if the gender is a boy, switch to the boy costume. If it wasn't, switch to the girl costume. Right? We'll run this in a little bit, but let's add in the other change. The other change that I suggested was that I want Mother Goose to ask another question in here. I want her to ask the question about uh, do you, what liquid do we want to have. So let's see here. We want to ask. Please name a liquid. And then we will take that answer and store it in a variable. So I'm going to make a variable called liquid. And we're going to set liquid to the answer that they gave me. And now, later in the story, when I say Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, I no longer want to say to fetch a pail of water, I want to say to fetch a pail of whatever liquid they gave me. And I don't really want to see that liquid, so I'm going to uncheck it there, put it in. And I think we're ready to go now. Let's go back and try it. Okay. What's your name? Uh, I'm going to use a, a female name, so we check that. Amy is a girl. And Amy would like a nice bucket of hot tea. So the story of Amy and Jill. Notice that this time we've got two girls going up the hill. We've got Jill and Amy. And Amy gets her bucket of tea. And she falls down and breaks her crown. But if I rerun this with Ben, who's a boy, who likes his Mountain Dew. Now I'm back to the boy icon, and Ben and Jill go up the hill to fetch a pail of Mountain Dew. And so now we've added in that nice interaction, customize the story so that whatever the user wants to do, our story is telling based on